So good afternoon. It's great to be here. Jason Z Prime, thanks for the invite. Um, you know, from our standpoint, being uh, asked to be part of the keynote as part of the 10th anniversary is pretty special to us. So again, my name's TJ Harper. I am the president of Armada Power. Now, Armada Power may sound familiar to you, um, maybe two different ways, okay? The first way, um, we've been hanging around you ever since you registered here. We've been with you the whole way. If you look at your lanyard, it says Armada Power. That joke is for all the dads in the room, and I was, I was paid to do that. So anyhow, so you, um, we're, we're really proud to be a sponsor. Uh, the other is if you were here last year, Eric Rayberg, who I know is in the crowd today, he presented, uh, he's the founder of Armada Power and our Vice President of Engineering and Innovations. Uh, he presented here and competed in the ETS startup competition and we won. Uh, so we're very proud of that. So that might be uh, a place that you've heard of Armada Power in the past. So for those of you uh, who don't know, let me tell you a little bit about Armada Power. Our Armada Power um, has been around for a couple of years. That's a startup inside of our, uh, our bigger organization. But what we do is we bring a transformative technology um, to, to the residents and, and the residential uh, people to be able to put in place a secure platform. You can put this right on top of a water heater and put it in place. We connect it, integrate it in about 30 minutes. We connect via Wi-Fi and, uh, or via cell. And what you're going to get from this is a secure platform that can aggregate the load inside of that, turn your water heater into a, uh, a, uh, a, a thermal uh, storage unit for, for power. And by doing that, and by the fact that we're connected to this in milliseconds and being able to communicate with it, we're able to optimize and control the load and that becomes a very highly responsive grid management tool. So very important what we're doing here. This is seamless. This, this sets very quietly on the water heater. It sets right behind. And if you think about it, if you can bring this to the consumers and you have a tool to help stabilize the grid, you got a pretty good solution. If you, uh, if you look at um, my title um, and what you would see in some of this, is that you also see Nationwide Energy Partners. I'm also the president of Nationwide Energy Partners and we serve the multifamily industry. And what are we doing from there? From the master meter back, we will work with the property owner and what we do is we, on their behalf, we design, we construct, we install, we service, we do the resident billing, we do the resident support, and that also allows us to be able to go and take the aggregated load and take it to the market and participate in the market and bring more additional operational value to that property owner. So together, Nationwide Energy Partners and Armada Power is a pretty formidable force. And as they come into the multifamily, we kind of look at it and we say, hey, we're kind of being overlooked here. Uh, that is, that is our thinking in terms of what's going on in the market. In our mind, it's not being served. It's overlooked and, and it's not because of anything other than the fact that it just doesn't fit. So I, I always like to use imagery, probably a little scary this time of the day because you're probably getting a little hungry, but I kind of want to talk about the restaurant industry. They're going through, they went through the same thing in the mid 90s into the 2000s. If you look at the restaurant in industry back at that time, we kind of had two options. We had fast food and we had set down dining. So you have the equivalent of Taco Bell and Perry Steakhouse. And in that time frame, there's a lot of things that were changing, but there was a gap that wasn't being served. My family, um, you can only go to Taco Bell so much, right? You can only go to the fast food so much. And, we want to eat right, we want to eat healthy, and we want to do the right things. And then on the other side, you have Perry Steakhouse or a sit-down dining, and you don't always have the time for that. You, don't, you can't always get out into the environment and take your kids there and sit down and have a dinner. So the market had a big gap. 
and they were screaming and the market was heard. And what you found is you've got places like Torchies right here in Austin that came to be. You had that fast casual emerge because there was a gap. There was a part that was being overlooked and it was driven by the market. So from, from my standpoint, if you look at that, um, you're saying, okay, how in the world does fast casual and the restaurant industry go to the space we're in? Well, from our set of lenses, when people look at our industry, they kind of look at residential and then they look also at commercial or the businesses. And there's a gap that sets in there. And that gap is multifamily because who are they? Are, are they residents? No, uh, well, you ask the property owner and he'll tell you pretty quickly, no, that's my commercial business. And the residents will obviously say that, yeah, I participate in that market as a resident. So there is a gap that has been identified and we're in the process of identifying and serving that gap. So, you know, from, from our standpoint, you, you can kind of uh, look at this and say, well, who's going to come in here and who's going to uh, serve, serve this market? Well, we have the opportunity to solve that between Nationwide Energy Partners and Armada Power. We're going to be the ones that kind of Sherpa this into taking care of that market. So if you look at that, this is the emerging market inside of energy right now that we're addressing. And from our standpoint, there's not a whole lot of options. Um, NEP has to emol uh, uh, evolve as that, that torchies and be able to bring that in because multifamily is really looking for um, green energy solutions, EV, EV charging, energy efficiency, demand response, and they wanna bring it in at no cost and they don't wanna increase the rents. Um, just as all of us wanted to have fast casual and not pay a fortune for it or uh, get back to uh, frozen food. We wanted, uh, the, we wanted our fresh guac and a beer to go with it. So um, our modern NEP understands working with these residents and these property owners. The one thing that you need to look at is cost. It always a is a driver around here. So you can go to a property owner and say, hey, I need you to put in new appliances, new hardware, uh, new software. Um, I know there was a discussion earlier today about the heat pump. Well, um, you know, that costs a lot of money, right? This controller doesn't. So there's a solution that can set outside. And, and if you ever talk up to a property owner, you will know that they protect the cost and what they're doing. And they will never give up. They will never give up an opportunity on, on uh, price. Also, they don't want you to take away space. If you look at uh, what happens with um, the properties, if you come in with appliances and so forth, you are consuming space. And inside of that space, what you're finding is property owners go, wait a minute, you're taking my ability to make revenue. You're taking away my rents. You're taking away my opportunity to make profit. And so that becomes a major issue for them. And then, you're going along and you're saying, okay, well, what about the resident experience? You know, from our standpoint, the property owners will protect those residents and their experience in, in deep detail and, and protect them to the, the nth degree. They need the easy button. They need to be able to bring programs in and do things that are not going to uh, impact the customer experience. So. Those are the kind of things we think about when we're solving for that, for that gap. So when you're able to go in there and be able to um, offer the owner no out-of-pocket expense with benefits and we're able to go in and have no rent increases, that's the right solution that we need to be bringing uh, to the property owners. So we answer uh, to use that uh, in a very unique way. Um, what we do is we just make it part of the sign up process, the lease process. At the beginning, when somebody's signing up, they're signing up with NEP, they're signing up for Armada Power, and they're able to sign up and we're able to take that and create that as the easy button. We don't have to go through the process of 
lagging back by one or three months, trying to get somebody's account number, trying to bring them forward and be able to run down every single resident to be able to do that. We have to think of this market as an aggregate and that is part of creating the easy button. From our standpoint, um, providing the owner with this with no cost is something that they will, will take to. They'll be very much uh, involved in this and this allows them to work with the local utility uh, and be able to participate in the programs. And that is the, the ability for them to come in and work inside the wholesale markets and be able to um, put this type of equipment and other equipment in place so they can participate in the wholesale markets. So if, uh, if you kind of look at the multifamily, um, if you look at the multifamily complex, they have the ability instantly to meet the 100 kW threshold under the FERC order 2222. Um, and if you look at some of the large multifamily units that we work with, we can get to really about one meg of demand almost instantly. However, if you start looking at each one of those complexes and you start engaging the, the individual residents one by one, uh, the whole program falls apart and you're not going to be successful. So the key message here is to make sure that we have the ability to work and take care of each one of these customers as a market as a whole. So uh, you may be asking the question, um, hey, I understand multifamily may have a gap and hey, multifamily um, may be a place that we can get a lot of participation and really bring some value out of it, but is the juice really worth the squeeze? Well, I would say to you that it is. Um, California has about 40 million people live in it. There's a lot of energy programs that support California. Well, there's 45 million people that participate or live in multifamily in the United States. So that target market is as big as California. If you wanna go global on this, you can kind of go over to England. And England is just over 45 million probably. Um, the, we, the population are, Multifamily is probably 90% of the uh, population of England. So it is significant. There is, there is a market there, and certainly the juice is worth the squeeze. So let me give you an example of how addressing this large market can really drive benefit and drive value in, inside of our industry. These are real numbers. In 2022, um, Armada went carbon free. And by doing that and delivering carbon-free energy to our customers, we took out about 140,000 tons of carbon made uh, in NEP uh, carbon neutral. Take our mod of power on top of that, and we're in about 6,000 units or approaching to get to 6,000 units. That in, adds in about another 6,000 tons, and that gets us to carbon negative. If we are able to produ produce and participate in the different value streams like renewables and get that renewable signal and we bring that in, all of a sudden that participation goes up 6x. And by doing that, we get to the equivalent of carbon reduction that is around the size of 25 to 30,000 homes. That's a significant input and that's a significant market and that's a significant result that we're looking for. So. The way that we're gonna look at this is we're not gonna look at it as residential, we're not gonna look at it as commercial, we're gonna look at it as a community. Uh, we, we, and that's how we talk about our, our customers and our clients, their communities. And we have to engage them as one market. And it's a full ecosystem that sets inside of that. It's not just us as the energy services people that are setting in between uh, the utilities, the PUC, and the residents and the property owners, it's that entire ecosystem working together and having the ability to drive choice and drive control and drive contribution from this market that we have. So we want to come together as um, a large community with their families and be able to give them the control and so forth that they need inside of this. 
and all at the same time giving them to the easy button. So from our standpoint, there's a large gap that needs to be filled. There's a market that needs to be engaged. And we have the knowledge, we have the history, and we have the know-how on how to get to that market. And we can act as the Sherpa to get to that and, and allow uh, everyone to participate in this. I'm happy to say that we have partnered with Z Prime and we have been able to put together a program. Going back to my little analogy with England, we went with Mind the Gap. And what we wanna do is put together an effort to get in there and really work together to solve this because it's going to take the participation of the entire ecosystem to be able to bring this through. And so we need utilities, we need the PUC, we, we need the residents and we need the property owners to work with energy service providers like ourselves to be able to come together and come up with those solutions. And, and I think that with the technology that we have very similar to the Armada controller, that we have the ability to connect, respond, and be able to meet the demands. So as you look at this, this QR code, if you're wanting to participate with us, please um, click on this QR code. It'll ask you to send an email and give us your information. You can be part of a team that can come together, work with us, and we can work through solutions that we can bring to this very, very large uh, underserved market. So um, again, I want to thank Jason and Z Prime. I wanna uh, especially thank Bethany uh, for helping me out today and also a uh, shout out to the folks back in Columbus uh, that helped put the content together. Nell and Teresa, uh, your efforts are very much appreciated. I appreciate your attention so late in the day. I know I stand between you and an adult beverage, so I will bid you adieu. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of the conference.